Hey, Tubies. Um, I know rocked this style already for half a day, and I just wanted to come in and show you guys because I love you so dearly. And I did a rant on why I want to start doing these um, videos at least bi weekly or weekly. And I'm just here to show you, and I need to put it back in my head anyway, so I'm just going to show you on the way. For this style, all you need is water bottle um you can have pure water or add glycerin or any oil to your water but your choice is a spritzer for your hair and uh oil to um hold in that moisture i'm using my shea mix um if you would like a tutorial on what i have in my mix it's full of oils and nutrients um just comment below and let me know that you would like to see that and you also need two bobby pins. Um, so this is a twist out, four day old. Let's see, I'm on my laptop, so please excuse the video quality. Um, my camera batteries are dead as a thumbnail. Um, yeah, this is just a four day old twist out, and you can do this on an old, extra stressed out twist out. A fresh twist out anything I just decided today was the day I wanted to switch it up so you're gonna fluff out your hair um oh, I'm sorry I have pins up here also so you fluff out your hair take your water bottle and spritz it lightly spritz your hair lightly not to make it damp but just to give it that feeling of a little dew, almost like a mist. Like if you was to go into a mist, mister, and take a little bit of your oil, rub that in your hands, and rub it on your hair. Just like that. So now we have fluffed out moisturized hair. And this is originally how my hair was this morning. I like my middle part now. So, this style can be worn with or without the middle part. So, first I'll show you without the middle part. Maybe I'll rock you with, with um, a middle part for the rest of the day. But you're going to take a section or uh, as much hair as you feel that you want in the front. And grab it like this. So, I don't section off my hair because I like the look of randomness so you just take this like i think this is enough hair and i'm going to gather it together with my middle part to hide that part for now so i'm going to show you without the middle part first then you're going to take a section from the edge by your ear that section right there and then we're going to take this also you're going to make this one go this way and this one go that way and then you're going to retwist it on top. Almost like a basket weave. And that's it. So now you have like a, almost like a little puff in the front. And a um, section in the back. And once you have that, take your bobby pin and just pin it. So I'm going to do that again in slow motion on the other side. We're going to take a section of hair close to our ear and then we're going to take another piece right here so I'm going to make this go this way as you can see hope you can see this sorry about the lighting make it go this way make this go the opposite way put this on top and then put this one on top of that one so let's do that one more time Take this section of hair, and then take this section of hair. Make this section go up towards the back. This one go towards the front, then bring it back towards the front, and this one goes back towards the back. So now you have that section once again in the back. And I don't like parting it, I said, because I like that look of the backness. So... Now we have that. If you have a part in the middle, you make sure you fluff that out and bring these sections together. 
so they can come together. And um, if you're like me, the back of my hair just likes to stand up. Just put a bobby pin back there and clip it down. And I'll show you how I do that with the front. Well, let's get to the front. Um, wearing it without your middle part. You're going to grab the first side of your part. And if you like a bang, which I do, and your hair isn't long enough, pull a section down like this. Just grab a section and pull it down. And right at your forehead line, you put this bobby pin going across. So, look at that. Before, after. Isn't that great? And then you take your hair and pull it to the front to hide it. Once again, we're going to do the same thing. Take a section, pull it down. Take your bobby pin, and you're going to make the bobby pin go the opposite way. Now, right at your forehead line, you're going to put that bobby pin right at the forehead line. Bow. So now we have a bang. And if one side is longer, you always just pull it. And, of course, fluff it to hide and hide that middle part. So, this is our final look. And, of course, smooth. If you like um, gelled edges, I don't. When I wear two styles, I don't do that. I just take that my finger and have a puff curl. Take your finger, roll it around like that. Puff curl. But let's look at the look. You see that? Two. And that's the front. So I'm about to show you a three in one style. So that was style number one, right? So starting um not completely over, but that's a rocket with a middle part. Okay, so this is the style, the middle part. I'm mushing it together so I might have to take a bobby pin and not to the front but to the middle. Put a little bobby pin right there. This is just temporarily to get my hair back. Like that. So, I leave that there for a few seconds. And pull the hair like that. So, let's just take this out. See, it takes no time to get that area flat. So it's flat, and I like my bang at this man with the middle part. So. Now, the last style. Push this back together just grab because it makes the style look effortless so um you're gonna do a slight a loose twist not too strain but just like a tuck twist to pull this up like that leave that section up it's just gonna be about an inch wide take a bobby pin and pin And then we're going to do the same thing to the next piece. Push the hair to the side. And that's the third style. Let's get up close so you guys can see. It's just like a tuck twist, if you know what I mean. Not um, a two-strand twist. It's just like a tuck twist. 
still let me do it one more time so that you can see that I just took take the hair and just tuck tuck and roll loosely you don't want it um precise but that's my third look and I was just coming in to give my ladies who are at this awkward stage that in between length and shortness stage a look at some quick and easy styles when you're rocking the twist out so you ladies have a great day press subscribe rate and comment i hope to see you next time bye bye